people who play video games on their phones? Does it bother you when they bury their face in their phones instead of talking, eating, bonding, or connecting? I have a very special person in my life who loves to play video games on his phone. We call him man friend. He thinks it's just the right amount. I think it's too much. I know you're dying to hear more about this conflict. Before we get into it, like this channel if you like it, subscribe, hit the little bell icon, you know the drill. Given what you know about me, I'm sure you're not surprised that I find it a tad annoying that man friend spends so much time playing video games on his phone rather than spending his time with me. After several years now of bickering and nagging and pouting on my part, I know you're so surprised that I would do any of those things, but you know, people, I'm just human. I very recently discovered something that makes me understand what's going on with him and those games. This discovery has generated a tremendous amount of compassion for him, as opposed to the anger and hostility which I mistakenly thought would make him stop. So, what is this magic that I've discovered? Is it marijuana? <laughs> no. Is it some other drug or some elixir? <laughs> no. Is it expensive, you're wondering? <laughs> no, matter of fact, it's free. Is it painful? Oh, heavens no. It's actually fun. Can you hold it? <laughs> you can hold it. You can hold it in the palm of your hand. It's kind of the hair of the dog. You're dying to know what it is, aren't you? Here it is. The antidote to my anger and hostility is playing video games on my phone. Huh? That's right. In Shakespearean fashion, the very thing I despised has now become the key to my freedom. If you can't beat them, join them. How did this come about, you're wondering? Many months back, I was asked to play a game on my phone as part of a promotion. I had to learn how to play the game so that I could do this promotion. And learn it, I did. My man friend marveled at the joy that I was getting from learning how to play this game. And so I kept playing it. Even after the promotion was over, I just kept on playing. Playing this one particular game has kind of become my thing and I love it. Hang on one second, I gotta check in with my game. I love solving the puzzles. I love the reasoning I have to use. I love the feeling of winning and advancing to the next level. I get little virtual prizes. It's awesome. I see very clearly how people get addicted to these kinds of games. And I've committed to not spending any money on anything on the game. I only do what's free. When my lives are up, I don't buy more. But now Manfriend and I can do this together. We're kind of like toddlers, you know? Parallel play. We each do something together, but separate. I don't feel bad because I'm not as fun as his games. You know what? Sometimes he's not as fun as my games. That's just how it is sometimes. So how has playing this game helped me be less annoyed when Manfriend plays his game? Well, I finally understand and appreciate better that some people's minds are geared for this kind of fantasy and, and fun and gaming. It helps them feel safe and calm and grounded and relaxed. This has led to a huge relationship shift for me because I know a lot of women who want their partner to stop doing X, Y, or Z, whether it's video gaming or golf or Dungeons and Dragons, whatever it is. I now see that asking my partner to give up whatever leisure time activity makes him happy is not a solution to my perceived neglect or boredom. When man friend is gaming, I now realize that he's not gaming at me. It's bringing him something that other things don't. And I finally get that now. So what does this look like? What's this relationship shift? Well, first of all, I respect his space more. I myself have found something pleasant and, and enjoyable that I can do before bed rather than reading the news, which is basically like watching a train wreck before trying to have nice dreams. Most importantly, I get to see that I am still an evolving being, even at 42. That I discovered this and became less naggy because of a video game is something I'm very grateful for, but I know that Manfriend is most grateful for. Thanks for watching. Tell me below in the comments, what's your relationship with gaming? What's your partner's relationship with gaming? See you next time, game on. I think that's what they say.